Hello kiddies! Oh, 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 it's jolly old Spurty Claws here wishing you a merry Spurtmas. Oh, oh. It's the end of the year, and an absolute arse of a year at that. And I'll tell you what, my sack is positively bulging. So it's time to put a smile on all the kiddies' faces by coming down their chimney hole and... Oh god, yeah, no, that's, that's enough of that before I get put on a bloody list. Before I get put on another bloody list. <laughs> You know what, this, this tinsel is really, really bloody itchy, so sorry, I'm gonna have to uh, immediately ditch that idea. Ah, oh, it still itches. I'm not even wearing it, and it still itches. Oh, anyway, we're, oh, bloody pint. Can't forget my bloody pint. Anyway, old Spurty Claws has to check the naughty and nice lists now to see exactly how good you children have been. Oh dear. No, oh dear, oh dear. I'm afraid to say it looks like you've been a bit of a wicked one this year. In fact, if I wasn't such a jolly old soul, I'd say it looks like you've been a right proper kid. <coughs> looks like old Spurty Claws will be taking a shovel to the reindeer stalls to fill your stocking this year. Oh, 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 just joshing, kiddies. Just a fun bit of Christmas japery. In fact, you know what? 2020 has been such an utter dick hole that I think all of our misdeeds and shenanigans are forgiven. Let's all get wanked and celebrate the end of this fart sack of a year. Mm. Oh, right, I think that's about all I've got, so I guess now would be a pretty good place to stick in the intro. To do that. It's a Christmas textbook weekly. Fa la 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 la. Now, normally uh, on Good Old Textbook Weekly, I start these shows with a roundup of the week's general sort of tech news and goings on. But of course, because it's jolly old Christmas time, that means it's been super chill. No launches or events or any other news to speak of what's... Oh no, wait, that's complete bollocks. Nothing ever stops anymore. So once again, I've been rushed off my arse all week long instead of sitting in my pants demolishing my whiskey stocks. Bar f***ing humbug. So what do we got? Well, on Monday, ZT finally unleashed its Axon 25G smartphone on the entire world, which sounds about as exciting as a bag of dead slugs, but it's actually not. And by not, I mean it's more exciting than a bag of dead slugs, not that it's not as exciting as a bag of dead slugs. Moving on. So this here is the ZT Axon 25G. I unboxed it earlier this week, well I actually did it last week, but I put the video live this week because that's when the embargo uh, was until, so I couldn't do it before then. Uh, yeah, it's got a camera under the display and you can use that to shoot selfies if you're all vain and stuff. Um, but you can also watch things on the display and when you watch things on the display, the camera's kind of concealed in a funny kind of way. And you can kind of see the joys. It's not entirely seamless. You can see what's what's going on there if you sort of tilt it to the side a bit. But you know what? It does a really bloody good job. Uh, I'm, am I selling it to you? I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing a good job. Just go watch the unboxing video. It's really good. I know I'm saying that myself. Obviously, I'm the one that shot it and everything. But it is really good. So consider that unboxing of the ZT Axon 25G my Christmas gift to all of you lovely folk at home. And no, you can't return it for a gift card. Monday also saw OnePlus reveal its second concept smartphone based on the OnePlus 8T but with a sexy colour change and tramp stamp slapped across the arse end. This can be used for a variety of purposes such as a, a makeshift notifications light similar to those flashy logos you get on the back end of most gaming phones but obviously more energy efficient. And OnePlus also mentioned how the concept phone could possibly monitor your breathing and then that colour changing glass could then pulse in time with your breaths for reasons. And again, I spunked out a full-on video all about the OnePlus 8T concept, so go check that out if you've got absolutely nothing better to do on Christmas Day of all days. But to be fair, I'm just going to spend the entire day drinking, and you can easily drink and watch things at the same time, so job done. And to be honest, if you haven't seen it, I did spend a big portion of that video just banging on about Marty McFly's mum in Back to the Future 2. It got a bit weird. Not gonna lie, there might have been whiskey involved. Uh, I can't remember exactly what I said. It was a bit weird and rambly. Uh, so maybe don't watch it actually, because I don't think it was some of my best work. And also this week, Motorola finally told us which blessed smartphones will be getting that Android 11 update. Although they didn't give us a specific timeline or anything, they just said sort of sometime in the coming months. Nice and vague, that's how we like our information. But anyhow, get ready to press pause for the full list of Motorola smartphones that are due to get the Android 11 update, if you actually give a shit. Go! Most notable omission on that list is definitely the Moto G8 Plus, uh, which, despite the fact that you've got the G8 and the G8 Play on there, uh, and that's probably because the G8 Plus came out before those two handsets, weirdly, despite being the Plus model, um, so therefore it already had to get upgraded to Android 10, uh, whereas the others came out with that out of the box, and now I'm just f***ing rambling, aren't I? So I'll just shut up and move on. 
Hey, it's actually sunny outside now. I was not expecting that. It's a bit of a plot twist. Next up, you may remember, we're back in June. I can't really remember June, thanks to my good friend, Alcohol, uh, that KFC, or specifically whoever was in charge of KFC's Twitter account, seemingly got high as a f***ing kite and then posted this weird-ass tweet all about a KFC gaming console. Well, we all just basically assumed that it was a joke and got on with our lives until this week when KFC has once again posted up further details about the KFC gaming console, which is actually a KFC chicken PC thing. I mean, seriously, 2020 might have been rescued right at the death here. So the KF console, or KFC console, however the f*** you say this thing, it's a high-end gaming PC that uses the intricate cooling system to actually pipe heat into a special chamber that's designed to keep your fried chicken warm while you take a gaming break. So apparently this pilot version of the console consists of a Cooler Master Mastercase NC100 Master Case, don't say that too fast, uh, with suitably vague specs, has to be said, an Intel Core i9 processor, ASUS RTX graphics card, and uh, 32 gigs of RAM. I've got to admit, I've had a couple of pints and I'm still not entirely sure about how I feel about sticking chicken legs into a gaming PC rig. Um, although, I mean, that's going to be the best smelling gaming console ever, surely. I would mark it Intel, buddy. If you're watching this, I'm still well up for reviewing that so uh, yeah definitely uh, please sort me out a, uh, a model and a bargain bucket of KFC much obliged and last a big news uh, for the week uh, certainly if you're a gaming twat like me big steam sale of course the steam winter sale has begun as of Wednesday I think it was carries on through to like, January the 5th so you've got plenty of time to basically spunk all of your savings on games that you won't even install let alone play just because they're two quid I've already gone and bought this one here Death Trap Dungeon uh, which is the old choose your own adventure book uh, but it's narrated by the esteemed actor Eddie Marsden I mean random does not even begin to cover this I guaranteed it will sit in my steam list completely untouched just like the salad at a Vegas buffet but it was only a couple of quid and I'm an idiot so f*** it whatever. Anyway way that's it that's all the festive news I had to cover which means that finally it's time for the part of the show that's about as jolly as a dead elf covered in sick. It's viewer comments. Viewer comments. <laughs> Just gonna need a bit of this. <laughs> so to kick off this Christmas special, we've got Big Al, who says, uh, for a Christmas Day Textbook Weekly, expecting that you'll be totally shit-faced, sat on the sofa, covered in mince pie fragments. Well, I mean, try totally shit-faced, stood in the same bloody room as always, covered in the dried, salty remains of my own tears. Oh, and some flecks of sausage roll as well. Hope I haven't got any more beard. Never say I'm not classy. Does MKBHD ever present videos after a skinful covered in sausage roll fragments? Does he? No, he doesn't. And that's why he's got several million followers. And uh, yeah. Right, next uh, question, comment thing. Andre says, hmm, this guy reminds me of a certain salesman that sells mirrors and likes using spoons. Okay, I'm drawing a bit of a blank on that one. I mean, the, um, the spoons comment just makes me think of Yuri Geller. Which, uh, I mean, I wonder what that lad's doing with himself these days. Yuri, mate, if you're watching, write in the comments below what you're up to, mate. Because, you know, fair play. Making an, a career for yourself, just out of bending spoons by glaring at them a bit. Which basically lasted throughout the entire 90s. Great stuff. But yeah, the whole mirrors mirrors thing, that's that's throwing me. Definitely, if, yeah, if, if, if anyone knows what that's all about. Uh, again, comments. Uh, next up, Tony says, you need to come to Trinidad. Oh, drink some Angostura rum, sunny 365 here. Oh, mate, do not tease me. Seriously, there's nothing I would rather be doing, especially as I'm stuck here in good old tier four UK. Great times. I literally see the sun for about 12 minutes a day when it peaks over my neighbor's roof. That was it coming through the window uh, earlier. You saw how freaking long that lasted. Sounds like Ian's all set for Christmas. One crate of brew dog, one crate of shipyard, and a keg of doom bar. Don't know if that'll be enough. I mean, yeah, to be fair, who knows how long this tier four shenanigans is going to be going on for. I've already cleared out all my kids' cupboards, chucked out all their toys and clothes to make room for more booze, just in case. Uh, next up, Jeffrey says, all I took from this was that you have broccoli with your Christmas dinner. Just wrong. What's wrong with broccoli? Come on, you've got to have some green on your plate. You can't just have meat and spuds, you know, and too much meat these days, let's face it. I'm not a, a young fella anymore. It gives me heart palpitations. Although also, to be fair, apparently there might be a uh, broccoli shortage over the next month or so, thanks to the ports being closed and all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, you probably have to replace it with a staple British vegetable instead, like pork scratchings. A bit of controversy after last week's hot teletext chat. Uh, that foreign bloke says 888 wasn't the TV guy, dun dun dun, it was actually the subtitles for the hard of hearing. Yes, of course you are 100% correct. F*** 
foggy memory strikes again. Thanks, beer. And uh, Jedi, Jedi Paul the Bear says, uh, speaking of sea facts, me and my dad used to do bamboozled every day. It was epic. Alas, both no longer with us now, but good times. Yes, good times. Happy Christmas, uh, Jedi Paul the Bear. Good to, uh, to hear from you again, mate. Uh, and yeah, love me some bamboozled. Those were great, great days. Uh, an extra says, what are the must-buy accessories to buy for the new consoles? Uh, well, I found that my PS5 and my Xbox Series X sessions were really enhanced by a good old six-pack of your finest supermarket eels. Uh, and some sort of beer fridge as well, so you can keep that by the sofa, so you keep getting your tinnies out of that roll and have to stand up, go over to the bloody kitchen, thus ruining the immersion. Oh, and some kind of uh, piss bottle as well, preferably one of those two-litre supermarket soft drink efforts that only need emptying once a day. Bonus. Next up, Claire says, would you grant us the wish of having like a 30 to 60 minute episode at some point in the new year? I'd literally listen to you bang on about anything at this point. Well, you're in luck because in this episode, I pretty much do bang on about absolutely anything at all. Uh, but yes, definitely in the new year, what I'm trying to do is get a decent, proper live streaming setup so I'm not just using a bloody iPhone or whatever. Uh, so fingers crossed I'll get a proper deck set up and proper camera set up. And then my aim is to basically do more live streams in the new year, basically whenever there's a big launch or something like that. Uh, kind of a ask me anything when, uh, when I've got my hands on the, the latest kit, that kind of shiz. It'd be really good to do it with special guests and stuff like that as well. But as I say, this is all very much work in progress. Uh, the progress hasn't been particularly swift. I've got to say, so uh, leave it with me. Uh, Etienne says, due to COVID and my parents shielding, I'll be spending Crimbo alone in my house with the central heat and going full pelt, wearing shorts and drinking a f ton of booze. It's pathetic just how much I'm looking forward to the Texpert Christmas special. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, oh, man, I'm sorry to hear. I mean, that's basically what my summer holidays consisted of as well, cranking up the taddo and then down in a crate of Malibu. And to everyone who is having to spend the Christmas holidays alone, it's a sh shit situation and you know hopefully the end is in sight uh, you know at least we've got the vaccines on the go and all that good stuff so whatever you do stay safe stay sane and don't resort to watching the mrs brown boys christmas special please whatever you can do oh and etienne also says uh, that google outage is surely pushing you towards embracing the iphone 12 right i mean to be honest i think i'd rather sooner embrace a rabid raccoon with crabs i did i did quite like the mini i've got to admit there are there's still issues where they i don't know what the hell the brick like design weirdness was all about but at least the camera's getting better it's 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 starting to get there it's just they're all just so expensive why apple why like 600 quid for a pair of headphones for goodness sick. I want whatever Christmas class is Tim Cook is on, that's for goddamn sure. Oh, well, speaking of which, actually ties into the next comment, Gordy says, uh, Chris, I thought you would have spent all of your Christmas food and drink money on the new AirPods Max. Now, I've got my priorities 100% straight, my friend. Uh, for the price of those AirPods, as you delightfully put it, I'll have to nick that, definitely. You can pretty much buy yourself a microbrewery. Uh, Mohammed says, Nokia 5.4 unboxing video. Yes, apparently I have asked HMD. Samples are due in in the new year, most likely, so of course I will get straight on that. Something to look forward to in 2021, although God knows what kind of state I'll be in by then after two full weeks of drinking this stuff. I'll tell you what, if I've still got the ability to clutch a phone and focus and talk all at the same time, it will be a bloody miracle. Now, Sean says, a five megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Come on, Nokia, that's poor. I mean, yeah, it'll probably be about as much use as me after a couple more of these f***ers. And I swear the bloody percentages on beer in general are just absolutely shooting up to the moon, which is, I mean, it's indicative of the current times, isn't it, that we need that extra alcohol boost, basically. Now, this one here, this, uh, so I wanted to start on something that was quite light, and the, the weakest beer I could frickin' find in uh, in my boxes was this one here, 6%. <laughs> they actually had a 14% stout uh, last week, which uh, ended about as well as you would expect. I'll tell you what, I can't wait until my daughter is old enough to have proper upper body strength to drag me up the stairs every time I pass out face first on the bloody living room floor. It's actually getting to the point where I'm slamming back a few shots of whiskey just to level me out after I've had a couple of pints. Uh, anyway, what, what was the comment? What was I even supposed to be talking about? Uh, let's come where are we up to? RGH Tech says, Hi, I sent you a tweet regarding a really killer smartphone, all in caps, uh, the Here Fury GT20. Why don't you review it on your channel? Uh, okay, let's check this bad boy out. Uh, five camera lenses. Wow. Oh, Christ. If this thing has got multiple macro lenses, and let's face it, it probably does, uh, it can go f itself right up the Type C. Oh, and by the way, future Chris, who will have had a couple more of these and then is on to edit this absolute monstrosity. Enjoy censoring out all of the swearing, you f***ing uh, No, so it's only got the one macro lens, uh, you'll be glad to hear, the Here Fury uh, G20. Pictures of insects, though. That they always illustrate macro lenses with pictures of insects. 
or flowers. Who does that? Who goes around snapping bees? Like seriously, is this like half the nation just bothering insects now that we've all suddenly got a bloody macro lens on our phones? The poor bastards. You know, these poor little bugs just trying to go about their day, mind their own business, eating a bit of dog shit or whatever, and then you got some big pleb just like right in their face trying to snap a picture of them. Um, oh god. Uh, Philip. Hey Chris, I'm a fellow baldy. I have a recurring dream where I have a full head of wet fusely pasta like a pasta-based Shirley Temple. What a bloody great dream. Uh, but what, what you really want to do though, if you're going to go for the full-on pasta hair, is you want to go for a bit of spaghetti made to a proper like 1960s hippie style. You can almost see the adverts now. Slap on that spag. Jesus, anyway, doing this show's actually starting to make me proper hungry now. If only I had a, a gaming PC with a, you know, a couple of spare chicken wings shoved inside the grill, that would be perfect right now. Wouldn't it, Mark? Hey, come on, Mark, where's my review sample made? Hook a brother up. Anyway, I really better make that uh, the last comment. Thank you very much to everyone who commented uh, last week. Apologies if I didn't get to yours. Please do slap down your comments in uh, the comments section, obviously. Uh, it's not like this is our first rodeo. And I'll get through those as many as possible in the new year. So I'll be taking a break for a couple of weeks from Textpert Weekly. So the next show will be on January the 8th. But good old Spurty Claws is going to keep on being busy because I've still got plenty of other tech that I haven't managed to get to yet to cover. Uh, I'm going to do some best of roundups and shenanigans like that. But seriously, have a fan bloody tastic Christmas, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this random drivel all year long. Quarter of a million new people have joined the Spurting army in 2020, which proves what an absolute batch bonkers year it's been. So here's to 2021. Here's to hopefully seeing friends and family and familiar faces once again. And definitely join me for more techie bullshit. Hooray! And as always, love you guys! <laughs> oh, time to start the whiskey. It's a Christmas expert weekly. Fa la 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 la. Mm.